And we're live. Hi, dear viewers. We are live and unmuted. Dude, you're unmuting yourself like five, five seconds too early during the intro. And I was like, why am I hearing him? But that's the, that's the whole plan. I, I, I like to transition from the music to, to ours. Very nice. Ours. Okay. okay, lovely people. Happy New Year! Woo Merry Jolly Holidays! <laughs> oh, dude, I have the sound effect on the loop. <laughs> okay, you were extra, extra excited for 2023, it seems. But for yes. everyone else, it's been a pleasure having you for the past year. Please continue us to do it, to to do so. We promise to keep on popping new episodes with exciting news, useful information, especially just having fun with each other. Yeah, that that's the plan. That's the plan. And if you're interested, our last episode, episode number thirty five, were the bloopers, and yeah, quite fun. Definitely recommend it. Link probably in the description. If not, just check the previous episode. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna do. It. We're we're committing to it. We're committing to it. Okay, but what do we have further, on our plate today? We have some exciting news and something that we have to correct from our previous episode because some new information has uh, come to light. There's two major topics. One is Twitter hacked over 2 million, anywhere from 200 million to 400 million uh, accounts information have been leaked. And the last pass, the password manager hack has been much, much worse than initially thought. Okay, let's kick it off with Twitter being hacked. I actually got notified about this via email. And, and for so did I. watching the video, here's the screenshot. And it says, hey, you've been pawned. You sign up for notifications when your account was pawned in a data breach. And unfortunately, it has happened. Here's what's known about the breach. Before we dive into that information, for anybody not aware of the service, this is haveibeenpwned.com. Uh, and this is a service that allows you to search multiple data breaches to see if your email address or phone number or something else has been compromised. Super useful. And um, that's the email that free. you get. And it's free. And it's free. It's completely free. You will get notified as soon as Troy Hunt uh, uploads the encrypted database. Um, if you're interested more on how this works, we discussed this in our episode number 19. And I also received the same email and I was just like, oh, heck no. Uh, first, I <laughs> thought it was like after the uh, Musk uh, buyout of the company, but um, it seems this is dating back all the way to 2021. Interesting stuff. That's true. And the email says that the number of affected accounts is 211 million. 524,284. Apparently, compromised data were email addresses, names, social media profiles, and usernames. So, but not only that, on some, on some, on some um, news outlets such as the Guardian, it says even telephone numbers were affected. But this is seriously, wow. Yep. But this okay, is not something Troy Hunt is reporting, and Troy Hunt is the owner of this "Have I Been Pwned" service. And yeah, just consider like the worst case scenario that your phone number is affected. Um, how to how you can check yourself, you can still, even if you're not subscribed, go to haveibeenpwned.com, linked in the description below. Uh, also, the link to our previous episode will be linked below, and you can just enter your email password. They don't save it. They just check the hash of your email uh, with the breached database, and you'll know if you have been affected or not in this Twitter hack. At the first glance, the information collected seems like pretty innocent. I mean, email email address, name, social media profile, what can hackers actually do with that? Well, we've got two options just right off the bat. The first is phishing, so actually sending you an email with an attempt to reset password or gain additional information. Uh, I think that we're all pretty familiar with that. But the other one is doxing uh, for me. Doxing was a new expression. I actually had to look it up. I, I thought I knew what it means, but uh, here's, here's the official uh, definition. Doxing is the act of publicly providing personally identifiable information about an individual or organization, usually via the internet. And whilst this is perfectly legal, it can be used for malicious purposes. For example, if somebody knows my email, my full name, my profiles on Twitter, um, TikTok, OnlyFans, wherever. I mean, they could use that information for stalking, intimidation, extortion, shaming, 
I mean, somebody could plan out a robbery if he knows that I'm posting plans for my vacation online. By the way, I'll Absolutely. be leaving for vacation. Doxing is a week. serious, serious. Uh, <laughs> doxing like is a serious, <laughs> serious uh, danger to everyone. So people usually how they dox is like someone wants to be anonymous and someone finds their Twitter handle or their email has been breached and they, they buy the breach in an underground hacking forum and they can say, oh, look, this anonymous person is this. Um, it's it's really a nasty way of, of um, doing things online. So, yeah, you might be doxxed if you have been anonymous so far. Um, watch out. Watch out. Be prepared for any dangerous emails pretending to be, well, Twitter or your favorite aunt. And she wants to give you a million dollars and just needs $10,000. Something like that. Yes. <laughs> now that your email is basically public, along with possibly your um, name and uh, telephone number, if you haven't like publicly listed it, but you have it somewhere hidden in Twitter, yeah, tweet, anyone can send you now an email pretending to be Twitter and saying, look, use this link to reset your password and you will click it, enter your old password and they will have your password as well. Watch out for Nigerian print scams and just in general watch any, watch out for any email that you don't trust and you can go directly to the website, Twitter and change your information there if, if needed. And don't be cautious just because of the bridge. This is common sense on the internet and we are here to provide useful information and just keep people aware about how to behave yeah yeah i think this okay. is pretty much Let, it let's jump over to the last pass <laughs> okay let's do it last pass what do we have it's um we reported the last pass being breached for the third time or second time in one of our previous episodes and we said look LastPass has communicated there's no real data being breached we just had some security incidents you don't have to worry about anything um the last they said they have seen no evidence that this in incident involved any access to your data or encrypted password vaults and we got new information that's being uh, shed light on and as a Christmas present, present just before Christmas, LastPass confirmed that the information they provided, um, the, the information stolen from the developer's account in August 2022 hack was used to target another employee obtaining credentials and keys and were then used to decrypt storage volumes. So in short, they uh, the hackers breached a developer account and they used him to target another employee, which managed um, to leak the credentials and keys which were used for your information on storage volumes. And with those keys, they can access the storage volumes, which include company names and usernames, billing information, telephone numbers, email addresses, IP addresses from which you access LastPass and website URLs from your password vault. Dude, so we came from all the data all nothing the data has been encrypted. Hacked. All this data is unencrypted. We came from nothing has been hacked to look, all this information is publicly visible to the hackers that have managed to uh get a hand on the storage volumes, so like a disk. But they still say that your passwords are encrypted. So all the 10 fields that you have in the last pass are in, are not encrypted except for the password. But that doesn't mean your password is safe, even though LastPass would like to say, look, your uh, passwords are encrypted with your master password. But now the hackers have all the time in the world to try to hack your master password, that your old master password, even if you change it now, it doesn't matter. Even they can keep hacking, hacking it for years. And if you don't change your passwords, at some point, they will be able to unlock every single password that you have if they just hack one password. Maybe with Dude, quantum computing. Right. I didn't even think about this. I mean, if you would change your password now, it doesn't help you. I mean, you're just changing the, the password to well the up-to-date database, and the old database is still vulnerable. And even if you use two-factor authentication, it doesn't help you. And statistics, Absolutely statistics not. say that most of the people use very weak passwords, usually like less than 10 characters, although recommendations are to have longer passwords, to have... Uh, mixed characters, maybe even sentences, stuff like that. 
Uh, and yeah, if you use a weak password, damn, that could be that could be breached easily. Yep, yep, yep. So yeah, there's a difference between your master password that you use to unlock all of your passwords in the password manager. If you change your master password, it has no difference. They they are trying to decrypt your old one, and they have the storage volume and all the data static. So whatever you do now doesn't apply for it. On the other hand, all the passwords that you have beneath your master password change them as soon as possible and even if they hack your master password they will be getting old passwords i know it's a pain in the neck to to have all your passwords being changed but it's much better than being hacked at any point down down the line dude i have i have so many questions i mean think think about this think about think like a criminal okay you just got a large database I do. of <laughs> Thank you. Of, <laughs> of encrypted and unencrypted data. Okay, you cannot do currently anything with encrypted data. There are just passwords. But you can filter this out by unencrypted data, which is like company names, billing addresses, email addresses. Dude, if, I don't know, a journalist, a celebrity, a politician uses LastPass, damn, they could be targeted, extorted, maybe a lot of funds and a lot of resources could be put towards decrypting that data dude that's a huge vulnerability i would if i would be the criminal that had uh, this uh disks and storage volumes filled with i would definitely start targeting like i can i have unencrypted data i can sort by government uh email addresses i can sort by government websites i can sort by binance i can sort by all these major um celebrities names and just start there start cracking there invest i don't know a couple of million into a quantum computer and target them first wow and listen to this you've got actually you can find an entry that says that somebody's using last pass to access metamask or phantom wallet or something like that there could be there could be public and private keys in there Yes, so this is how I usually manage my stuff. So for MetaMask, I have my password in the password field, which is encrypted, supposedly. And I have the, I don't know, the recovery phrase usually saved in the notes. Because I know usually you assume like everything is encrypted under your master password and not that they're going to leave everything unencrypted, including usernames or notes or form field data. This is it, it's horrible from last pass and and I don't think they deserve to retain any larger volume of, of users. This is just plain they had one job. Literally, they had just one job. Are you just saying this because you're sponsored from your competitor? On that segue, no. let's <laughs> say hello to our sponsor today, which is no, just kidding, we don't have a sponsor <laughs> yet. But if anybody wants to reach out, do it. Okay, uh, sorry for the joke. Let's take a step back. What are some steps that we can actually do? We can just, what, change the passwords and change, I guess... Wow, you, you would have to create the new wallets and then send the funds over? In the case of MetaMask, yes. You would have to create a new wallet and send over all the funds you have. And in the case that you're not using MetaMask or just as long as you rotate all your passwords and generate new uh secret phrases or keys just rotate it's better to be safe than sorry i mean it's gonna be a pain in the ass it's gonna be loads of work but come on it's better to invest a couple of days to rotate all your, all your passwords than losing 736.2 ethereum yes and specific, it's also... i know but <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of suspicious but yes <laughs> Rotate all your passwords as soon as possible if you're using LastPass. And even if you're not, just like change the most impor important passwords like to your Gmail, to your uh, banking app, to the valuable things that you really, really cherish like every every now and then, like at least once per year, I would say. And don't just add that... exclamation or one at the end of the password. I don't think that counts. <laughs> There's actually a joke that the first password was like... Uh password then you had to add a special character it's an exclamation mark then you had to capitalize something it was a password with a big p it, okay everybody knows about this joke google it if you don't uh anyhow i think this is it we're at the end of the episode we are here to provide you useful information on the internet well at least this episode was i think fairly useful so thank you for watching it was i think amazing 
Uh, if you're using LastPass, migrate over to our sponsor, which is... <laughs> it's not 1Password. <laughs> <laughs> but if you in, want in the... to be 1Password, reach out to hi at casual.is. That's hi at casual.is or just comment below and subscribe. And for everyone else, yeah, 1Password, you definitely have to subscribe. But until 1Password gets here, please, everyone else, like the video, subscribe. And who knows, maybe we might give a giveaway this year to one of our most enthusiastic random subscribers don't don't don't, don't, don't promise that i don't, i said we might okay we might <laughs> we might <laughs> thank you so much have a good one see you in the next one bye 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 everyone